you doing? Putting on me cuffs. We're over here. <laughs> hear the birds? Yeah, I hear the birds. Beautiful. And I came up just in and the robins were just singing away. Usually the one every morning gets up there in that tree and he's just singing away. That's great. Oh, and we could tell Marty, we think we identified that other bird. I think it's a downy woodpecker. Yeah, it's a different, it's a it's a young woodpecker, I think, isn't it? Yes, it is, yep. Yeah. That's why you don't have to red on top of his head. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I'm going to tell you what a, what a nice little fella he was. Yes, he sure and was. And kind of tame too, right? Oh yeah, didn't mind us. So what am I doing? Well, I got this to do. I got some electrical things I got to straighten away on this thing. Oh yeah. We got a 1800 gold wing coming in. That needs a bit of work. And we finally, finally got some 516 yes, tubing we did. for our horns. And I'm making up a bracket for the new air filter system for the uh, horn blasters. I got that kind of tight there now, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is treaded, and this goes on, and then the nut jams it on. So I gotta, this got to be sandblasted and bent. This, this is only just a very preliminary start of the bracket for the, we're replacing the air filter, that one with that one. And uh, yes, and I'm going to be putting in an extra air tank. It's going to be a two and a half gallon tank. It's going to be about that big on the round. It's going to be 24 inches long. And it's going to go up on the just below the driver's seat on the chassis, and uh, it's just going to be an extra, extra holding, extra holding capacity for the ear. The two and a half, the, the two that's on it now, it's fine. But where I got it hooked up now, where I can use an ear hose and stuff, it's nice to have that little extra capacity. And if you're really pissed with a another driver, that's twice to uh, Oh, so yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. But that's ordered. That's not going to be here for two or three weeks. And plus, we have fittings coming from China, and just well to buy them direct from China because that's where everybody else is buying them. Yeah, true. People on eBay are buying them from China. They're buying them for pennies on the dollar, and they're putting them on their e their eBay listings, and they're charging two dollars for their dollar. So that's right. Everybody got to make a book. Everybody got to make a book. But, uh, and I'm also going to have a dump valve on that for draining the tank too. It's all going to be on the one switch so that when I push that button in the dash, the two tanks will drain at the same time. Oh, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, so that'd be neat. And uh, yeah, the horn, so I got to make up brackets for the horn, so maybe that's what this video will be about later on. I'm going to go ahead and do our customers side by side first and a few other little things that, that, that came in that needs to be addressed. And uh, we'll get at it later on. Oh, did you? Oh, there you are. Did you finish the wiring? Oh, you're talking to me now. <laughs> yeah, well, you gave both of us a terrible talking to me. You were talking to me a couple of minutes ago. All I did was tootled my horn. Well, yeah. I tootled my horn. Well, look, you, you did the same thing to Luke. He noticed it too. Listen, if you two want to be in the office gossiping, <laughs> okay? We weren't Because, well, you weren't talking about the price of tea in China. You weren't talking about oil prices. And my buddy came there, a customer, and he wanted something fixed. And I said, well, okay. And he said, well, how did you make it with the horns? I said, got them done. He said, geez, I'd love to hear them. So well, anyway, he's only a little fella. And I warned him. And well, the next thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, right? yeah. I warned him, but I forgot about you guys in gossip in the office. Convenient. And of course, the truck is, well, it's a good 10 feet. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you, they, they stink. You can hear the, the uh, horns four miles away, so it 10 feet. It wasn't 10 feet. Look where it's, well, I guess from there to the office, maybe. But gee whiz, the sound is pointing in here. Well, it was wicked, wasn't it? It was nasty. Well, I, well, I warned the young fellow, sure, he came right off the pavement. And he got mad with me. I said, you asked me to show you the horns. <laughs> and I did tell him, don't stand in front of the truck. Oh, you heard Captain's chest. He was like, oh my God. My yeah, well, I came yeah. in the office too. He's in there coughing. Well, well, you, you, you lost your breath or something. <laughs> we did. Yeah, it rattled my lungs. Seriously, I'm not even, like, joking. Yeah. yeah. Boy, causing, it caused him a three days growth, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> <listening. laughs> yeah, we were able to clear up pretty good, so that was fun. Well, make it, ain't it? Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to have to get horn brackets now for a few minutes because it's dinner time. 
You're going to do that on your lunch break. So well, you I'm going to start at it. Bike, Jeez, I got to yeah. take them horns off. Why why one here? Answer me. Did you finish your wiring on the bike? Yeah, it's done. It's done. Times. It's done. It's <laughs> done. But I couldn't interrupt you. You guys were too into the gossiping. <laughs> Actually, we're uh, pricing steel. Yeah, that's really? right. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about the price of steel and everything. It's got, gone up. Yeah. Gone up. You know me, stock baron. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Stock baron, yeah. yeah, we were talking business. You thought we were gossiping. Gossiping? No. Oh. <clears throat> See, he still don't have his throat cleared up. I licked my lungs. I bet you it was loud, though. It was Holy really cow. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trapped in there, so it bounces. Yes. Yeah. Vibrated, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Want to go and get my violin? Yeah, While he's telling me the effects of it. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> well, I figure this is my office, and you fellas shouldn't be in there gossiping. Business. See? Business. 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 Yeah. It calls it gossiping. Yeah. You know, you went there and... And you walk in. <laughs> You're not saying it, did he? Hold her, hold her, hold her. Oh, just taking my takes. You know? And then you walk out and put your ear up the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so. So, what I'm going to plan on doing here is I'm going to make a simple bracket here, a simple bracket along there. Then I'm going to somehow join them that way. And then hook them onto the inner fender. So oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sinking. Sinking, yeah. <laughs> That's what you're sinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all I did was tootle my horns. Well, and everybody don't do gets that. upset. Yeah. That was only two. No, no, I had the four of them hooked up. I didn't want to waste any. So it would have felt like a wimp if it was only two. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't yeah, want to feel exactly, like a wimp. Exactly, right? Yeah. So, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. Bye. You're being watched. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be here in a second. Now I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. I'm welting. <laughs> yeah. I heard the roller fire up. Yeah. That's when I came a-running. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm not doing anything too, too fancy. They gotta be painted yet. Okay. So we're gonna build stack a stackable rack for them. Oh yeah? Uh, people like to see wells, so there's the wells. Oh, yep. And, uh, it's going to go something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I got to bend this one a bit more. And bring it up. And then I'm going to put the other one up here like that. So, I, But I got to be able to clear that snorkel. So we got to see how this is going to work out. You know what I mean, Vern? I do. So, yeah. Perfect. Um, so far, that's what we're doing. Put that one down in there? Yeah, I'm just sizing it up there now. It's, I'm still in the mock-up process. Mm. Uh, yeah, so now fellas might say, well, it's close to the exhaust and it's going to be hot. But look, that's there for 23 years, these wires and stuff. It's a lot of wind that comes past through here. So now I got to make up a bracket that comes from here. I got a customer here, it don't matter. Um, I got to make up a bracket now that's going to come from here to there, see? Perfect. Then I can weld them two together, and that'll be uh, that'll be it. So I'll take them off the end, bead blast them, prime them, paint them, attach them, run the hoses, done. More welding? Yeah, one second, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's your bracket. Getting more complicated. <laughs> it certainly it's is. getting more complicated. Yeah. See what I do? I always make my, when I'm making my brackets, I always weld on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That way, when you're looking at it from above, it looks tidier. That's a good idea. I could have punched them out and used square holes and stuff and, mm -hmm. and put the lag bolts or uh, 
carriage bolts in, but I didn't really think that was necessary. So this is how this is going to look. Like that, see? Oh, wow. Now, what I'm going to do here now is I got two holes there for some reason. I don't remember what they're for. So I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to make a bracket that comes out and a support bracket. And it's going to go here. I don't think it will have any effect. Hang on a second now. So that's going to go... Snorkel. Yeah, snorkel, yeah. Yeah, I got lots of room there for a bracket. So what I'll do is I'll put another bracket down here and that'll keep... Of course, it's not even tight yet, right? But that'll, uh, I'm going to tighten up the bottom bolts now, and if I think it's going to be any vibration there, I'm going to uh, put another bracket from here to there. Yeah. So you got to go get me some parts, eh? I sure do. You have to go to Carbonier. Carbonier. Carbonier, Conception Carbonier. Bay North. Yep. Beautiful area. Beautiful. And uh, that's where the Honda dealer is, too. It's in the area of the mall, too. Oh, for the love of God. Are you going to the mall? Oh, gee whiz, I'm right there. You know what? I, mean, I saw that it. look. You were looking to see if the mic was on. <laughs> no, I you was not. Were, you were. <laughs> no. You were. I seen you looking up at that dead cat. No, you did not. Yeah. I was looking like, no. darn it. He figured out I was going to make a stop at the mall. That's what you, you saw. You told me the mall is there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'm in no rush. Uh, we got that old six here. Beautiful. Come over. He's very distraught. We have to Beautiful. service the bike. But he were very, he's very distraught, so he has a problem. Yeah? Yeah, somebody scratched his bike right there. Oh, yeah. So those are hand-painted squiggly things. Yeah. So you're going to have to do your magic with your designs. And I'd like to see another scroll like this, similar, come down. Right? And the same thing on the other side. That way we can cover over that scratch. Because... He don't want to paint that whole saddlebag. No way. So that's what we'll do. Uh, well, that'll be tomorrow. I'll start at it when I get this job done. You can take your time. If you want to go looking around at the mall, you can. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll worry about that tomorrow, right? Eh? Yes, indeed. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, so you can, you'll get a better idea of what I'm doing here now. See, I, I have it bolted to the uh, inner fender. But the, it's still a bit of giving because I'm only using one eight flat bar, one eight by one inch. So I have this opportunity here. There's already two holes there. Just take the plugs out. So what I'm going to do is I'll make up another bracket that will come down, and bend like that. So if I had it, uh, say seven inches long, that would that would do it, and that will really add support to it. And once that's on there and bolt it down. Well, then it's going to be really, really tight, and I can join my hoses on the bottom. And they're only light horns, but and then I can uh, remove it, bead blast it, prime it, and then I'll paint it and assemble and run the hoses. Take some uh, split loom and run over the hose too, and that way it all looks like it's wired. Cool. You going shopping or what? <laughs> You're trying to get rid of me. <laughs> okay, guys, my turn. This here is how I'm cutting the metal, folks. For those of you who aren't used to watching our channel, this is our Edwards 60-ton iron worker. So, we're just going to shove this in here. See if I can do this with one hand. You're supposed to clamp it down, but I hardly do that with one hand on the camera. a piece of metal Is that on after so what I'll do is I'm going to bend that to the angles that I need and I'm going to use this uh, bender I got a, bit a mess here guys but anyway yeah I made two of those there's a 24 inch one here and I think uh, that's that's around 12 and it works quite well. It's on an electric over hydraulic system. And uh, we
and then you just back it up. That's basically how I'm going to do it, folks. I wish Kathy was, excuse me, was here to be able to get her to hold the camera while I'm doing this stuff, but it's not that serious. You guys get the drift. So I just need to bend it up and bend it down, whatever. So let's see how it happens, how it works out. Okay, guys and gals, that's the uh, that's the mock-up done. So it's uh, it's all drilled. These bolts here, I staked them on, I tacked them on. That way I don't have to worry about them turning when I'm under the, uh, well not exactly under the truck, but under the fender. I don't have to worry about trying to reach in over the fender to, uh, to hold them on. Um, what I got to do is uh, take the horns off now and bead blast it. Uh, people ask me, that's another thing I'm going to try to do from now on. People always ask me about the settings of the welding machine. Well, there's the uh, the wells. They're acceptable. It's uh, I've done worse. LOL, as they say. So I'm going to show you what the settings are. And that's the settings for uh, one eight plate. And Miller got a chart. The chart is always there on the side of the the tank. And to be honest with you, Miller's uh, estimates are pretty well dead on. Not very often do I need to tweak them on the chart, so just something to keep in mind. So there's the sand blaster, or the bead blaster, or the cabinet blaster, whatever you prefer to call it. And I'm about to uh, blow the mill scale off of that uh, flat bar, so we'll turn it all on. There's the recovery system in the back. There's the bracket, painted silver, and uh, looks nice and clean now. So I'm going to dress it and I'm going to put it on the, uh, the truck now and see what it looks like. I also cleaned up the bracket and fixed it up for this, so that'll be going on as well. Well, there it is guys and gals. It's done. It's only to plant it now. Probably don't look like there's much to it, but I'm going to tell you, it takes a little bit of time to make this stuff up. So let's get it on the machine and see what it looks like. And here's a simple bracket now for the uh, for that air filter. So I'm going to install that next. So now we have the new remote uh, air filter system hooked up. It's right there in that canister. It goes right down there. And it comes up in a transparent hose that I covered up with uh, wire loom. So we've gone from this little filter here to this big cartridge type filter so it should be uh, very beneficial for the compressor. It's going to have nice clean air. So now what I have to do is run two hoses from here along here and then over to the horns and you can see where they they plug in there to the bottom right there those fittings and they're just basically push-in fittings so there's not much to it, and I'll cover them in wire loom as well. Okay, it's done. It's all done. You can see the wire loom here going across. That's the hoses. And they're going down to the brackets. And of course the brackets now is nice and rigid. And uh, it looks tidy. So all I have to do now is put my uh, snorkel pipe on there now and see what it looks like. There you have it. This cord here, that's just for the trickle charger. Just got to throw it up there. So yeah, if the uh, snorkel fit perfect and uh, there's real estate there used up now that I never had used up before and it's good. So pretty well everything is self-contained under the hood. It's quite loud. I won't blow it here now because it's kind of, what time is it? It's 4.30 and it's kind of half quiet around here now so I don't want to have the police show up. So I, uh, I'll put in a sound bite from when we done the test the other day. 
So it's, uh, like I say, it's all self-contained and it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Let me put one more electrical tie right here just to secure that. And uh, I got a, a cover put over this. That's just basically an old rubber handle and a head and that just goes on like that. And I had some insulation there I put on there just to, to hide the ugly elbows and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of neat. Or at least I think it is. That's it folks. That's that uh, little bit installed. That takes care of the other two horns. So hopefully now that's it for the uh, for the install other than the auxiliary ear tank that I will be putting in in about three weeks when it shows up here because I got fittings coming from China and I got this coming from Singapore and that coming from the United States and so and we live on a rocket in the middle of the North Atlantic so it takes time. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. We got a few other things I got to do before quitting time. Looks like I got to work on the gold wing tonight, so I'll try to get this uploaded for you. Anyway, uh, the next truck video will be the uh, the lift, the three-inch lift. So that's uh, I'd say that's going to be next week for sure, definitely next week. I won't be able to do it uh, today. Is Wednesday, Thursday. It won't get done this week. Not going to happen. We're just too busy. So uh, what I did is I did, I started at this at 12 o'clock and it's 4 o'clock now, so we never had our dinner. So what I'll do now, I'll work tonight, catch up on the work that I didn't get done today. So it evens out, you know, it's just the way it is. And our customer that was bringing in the gold wing, he got a little bit late, so the other work that I had here, if I took it in, it would have been, I would have been too involved in it to do the gold wing. So this, I kind of used the truck as a fill-in job. So it's going to work out good. At least it's finished. So you guys take care. You enjoy your evening. It's a little bit cooler here now today. It's, I don't know, maybe 19 degrees Celsius. So uh, enjoy your evening. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.